Okay, are we all set up to begin this adventure? Again, I'm just going to be stepping you guys uh, through the setup process over here as best as I possibly can. And uh, hopefully uh, you do learn a little something because I possibly just messed up installing things. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to take a step back here. <laughs> um, one thing I'm going to do, though, is uh, uh, in the last video, I made a, uh, an Xcode project to begin testing this with, obviously. Uh, I went ahead and made another one that just matches exactly. So the project name over here is exactly what I put in for the database. I don't think that really matters, but I'm going to, I don't know. I'm going to shake off some mojo uh, from my bad last install, and hopefully maybe that was the issue I had. So anyway, that's where I'm at. All right, so uh, stepping through the list, uh, we're going to go over here to integrate and download the configuration file, okay? Uh, that you just hold on to for a little bit. All right, so you've already, that's one step. <laughs> you can check off an easy one. And... Uh, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to work with the terminal window here. Uh, we're going to install Cocoa Pods. Uh, so again, with Xcode open, uh, what we're going to do is from a terminal window. All right. So if you've never, uh, well, anyway, if you never used terminal terminal before, just hit the command space bar. Okay. And then just go over here and type in terminal. Okay. And what you're going to do is put in here a sudo gem install Coco pods. All right. And I've actually already done this. So I'm not going to do it again, but uh, it's just going to ask you for a password in the next step. That's all you got to do. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to just pretend I just did that. And uh, then it's, uh, it's going to want us to create a, a pod file. Okay. So again, um, again, be, uh, be using terminal. Okay, and it says uh, navigate to the directory that contains your project file. They don't give you too many details on this, and it's not the not the most intuitive thing. Uh, type in CD. That's going to stand for change directory. Uh, and then to get the location, all you got to do. Okay, so here's the basically the, the folder containing my Xcode project. Just drag this into the terminal window, and you'll see it just puts in the entire path. So then just hit return. It's not really going to tell you that you're, you're anywhere different. Uh, if you want to just be sure that you are someplace different, type in ls for list. And then as long as you're seeing this uh, Xcode project file over here, you are in the right space. Okay, so um, yeah, what it wants us to do now is uh, da, 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 da. Uh, run pod file. So just uh, type run. And, oh, I'm... Wait, I'm in the wrong spot. No, just type pod init. All right, that's all it takes. Okay, and then once you do that, you should see that uh, it creates this uh, pod file over here. So go ahead and open this guy up in any old text editor. Okay, and it's going to show you this right here. Uh, and what they want you to do is uh, add the following to build core. Whatever. So to, all right, so uh, just basically copy and paste in what they're asking you to do over here. So just put that in, all right? And replace this out with the name of your app. Okay, so we will do that. And again, the name of my app is just gonna be tutorial on DB. So I'm gonna take that part of it, paste that on in there, uh, save that file. And they want us to go back over here to terminal. All right, and from the same spot we're already at, remember we're still over here. Uh, this time we just added the pod file. They want us to put in pod install repo update. All right, so we're gonna hit return on that and see what happens. Uh, we'll see a bunch of things go across the screen here and you get that little Sign that it is thinking about doing it or doing it. Maybe a little bit of both. And okay, now this is odd. Analyzing dependencies, unable to find a target named. Did find tutorial. All right, well, that's weird. And that might be explained by this right here. Um, perhaps what we need to do. Sweet. Let's let's roll the dice on this again. All right. So let's just put that in there this time. And um, 
And uh, let's uh, let's open up uh, this again. Do the same thing and see what happens. I'm gonna, and I'm not chalking that up to my error right there. I think that they, in this, if this, if that's the issue, they should have said for that, you know, go ahead and get rid of all that. And maybe they want these little quotes in there too. I don't know. But I think that's the problem. It's not my fault. <laughs> all right. Uh, it looks like uh, they're, all right, uh, I, I'm seeing a lot more green than we got last time. So I think that's a good sign. And uh, let's uh, let's head back over here. Okay, yeah. Um, it's saying uh, that we now have this uh, XC workspace file, and that is exactly what we want uh, to see next over here. So it says to uh, close down Xcode, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to quit out of it. And uh, what they're basically saying is don't ever open your project up through here anymore. What you want to do is now this is like your kind of main master file for this project. All right. X, and uh, you, when you do open it up, it's going to look the same. All right. It's not like you're working in a different version of Xcode over here. Um, <clears throat> so let me bring this into view. Okay. All right. And on to the next step. So they're saying now um, to uh, import the AWS auth core uh, statement. Uh, anytime you're going to basically use the, uh, you know, use your database. So, you know, just I would say go, you can just put it in right here. Uh, if for some reason you think it's going to be in your game view controller, put it in right there. It's not going to hurt you to put it in more places. Um, okay. And you know what? Yeah, no such module. All right, we might have to uh, deal with that. <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, let's go ahead and just ignore it for the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next step where we uh, uh, bring back in our AWS configuration file, which we downloaded. Uh, so that was over here, if you guys remember. Um, so let's go ahead and just find that guy. And we're going to copy it into where it says, here, I'll move that off to the side for a moment, um, where your info.plist file is. So an easy way to get over there is just uh, show in Finder. Okay, so right over there. So we're just going to copy in. There we go. Um, yeah, right. And actually, they want us to bring that into the project. Drop that guy into there. Okay, and uh, they say select uh, copy items if needed and create groups in the options dialog. So just uh, click on finish. Okay, that should be in there. And it says finally put the following code in your apps. Uh, you know, again, I'm just reading through here. Uh, put this code in there. All right, so go ahead and just copy that. And in your app delegate. Uh, most likely we don't want to just do a full copy and paste there. Let's go ahead and just pick out, uh, all right, so we're going to put an import that, which worked so well last time. Uh, the This line over here, they're not telling us is anything different. Uh, they do have this um, variable var set the initialized flag. Okay. Um, it's the this main function that they want us to do a little something different with. All right, let's put that on in. Okay, and um, still got to deal with the fact that we're getting this nasty red warning over here. Okay, well, um, I, I went over here to do uh, just the main project, right? And uh, over here on target, um, I clicked the plus sign and I added in here the uh, AWS auth core and uh, AWS core, uh, then hit run and it uh, isn't showing me any errors anymore. These warnings are actually, um, uh, whatever, that's fine, you can do that. Um, these just have to do with some, and I'm actually using the beta right now, the uh, whatever the just print issues it's not, i mean that's going to go away as soon as we decide we don't want to print that out um so yeah that 
that should be building uh, just fine. There, now it's not, not, now there's no warnings or anything like that. That's fine. Just, yeah. Okay, we get it. Um, so uh, yeah, we're uh, we should be set up now. Uh, I guess the next thing to do is to actually test that we are um, able to uh, read and write from the database. <laughs> Uh, so that seems like a good uh, place to start the, uh, the next uh, video.